Hi, Chamber friends. Tara Doyle Enneking here, the CEO and President of the Puyallup Sumner Chamber of Commerce. We are going to start something new. Uh, we have great, robust staff meetings every Monday. We discuss so much of what's happening during the week. So I believe following each of our staff meetings, we're going to turn around and push a lot of that information out to you. So kind of a Monday check-in, if you will, on the happenings for the week just to keep you plugged in. Um, today, we are very excited to bring on a new employee. Her name is Rebecca Landro. She will be partnering with, we all know Deanna Largent <laughs> out there in force, um, to bring on new members, to onboard members, to kind of touch base with members throughout the year, to kind of make sure you're getting all that you need from us in the way of services and resources. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our newest team member, Rebecca Landro. Thank you. Um, as you mentioned, my name is Rebecca Landro, and I am super excited to be on this team here. Um, I'm local to the area, Sumner Puyallup, so a lot of you guys know and see me around, so always say hi if you see me walking around with my kiddos, especially this summer. So yeah, super excited to be here and get to know and help grow some relationships. And we've got Gretel, the chamber dog. Um, our Blue Spark <laughs> Society is um, definitely no stranger to Gretel as she works her way around as our little therapy dog during those sessions. So pardon that for a moment. Um, so Rebecca, you uh, came to a 12 at 12 last month. So those great luncheons that we have, which is an opportunity in, to engage with me, for me to hear um, from our members, learn a little bit more about everybody's interests and in joining the chamber and what you need from us. Um, but I think that during that meeting, we had a lot of synergy. You heard a lot of the work we're doing. Yeah. I saw the lights go off and you chatted with me after just about alignment with um, maybe bringing some of your skill sets and energy to our team. So talk a little bit about why you're excited to be here and in what ways you think you can be helpful and in what ways you want to be supportive of our members. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. So last month I did come to the 12 at 12. If you are a member and you have not done one yet, you definitely should. It's kind of crazy. You get to meet, you know, different businesses, different business owners, different employees, and you get to figure out kind of what's going on with their businesses and their challenges and their future and where they want to go. Um, I'm huge with networking and getting to learn more about how we can help others and how I can help others and, you know, kind of make businesses grow back and forth. So it was actually kind of nice to kind of sit and meet with people that you probably would never have met ever um, at that lunch and you just kind of learn more about them. And I've already gotten referrals. I've already got a quote for a bathroom remodel. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. So, and that's kind of why my eyes lit up because this is what I like to do. I like to nurture relationships, get to know people and their business and what I can do to support it. So that's kind of why I'm here. You're a natural convener and I think that's a big part of what the Chamber does is just kind of get in the middle of matchmaking folks. Um, again, matchmaking to resources. So yeah, we're so excited to have your energy and your excitement and um, so personable and have great ideas and I've already watched some of your social media so I think we're going to be elevating that game as well having fun with that. Um, so tell us a little bit about you personally. Um, you know, who are you? What do you like to do for fun? Who are these little munchkins <laughs> over here? I have my daughter, my stepdaughter's over here. Come on over ladies, daughters. you can say hi. I mean, I, we all got to meet Gretel. Yeah. I've always wanted to be on TikTok and Reels and social media, so here's their opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'm no stranger Oosh. to um, being stepmom of four daughters and four granddaughters, one grandson, it's so I get, I yes. get this. <laughs> are excited so five minutes of fame um, so yeah so I'm local to the area I am a sales manager with Academy Mortgage but also I'm a part of the chamber as well now so um, we just live in Puyallup right on the Puyallup River on acreage so kind of what I like to do for fun is I do a lot of farm work we have animals and goats and Yay! chickens and dogs and cats and everything so I guess my hobby would be taking care of our yard <laughs> I'm always outside always Oh, it sounds like a wake up might be kind of fun out there. Yeah, after hey, hours, we got the or room in our parking. society or something. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah, let's do it. I love it. I love it. Well, girls, thank you for being here and being so patient. Yes. You're all such lovely <laughs> girls. And I hope we all sign you up as chamber members. Are you going to be business women in the future? Yes. Oh, yeah. Right on. That's smart. I love it. Perfect. Well, thank you. Okay, so this is Rebecca. Um, she's going to be circling around introducing you to her. Um, her email address will be Rebecca at PuyallupSumnerChamber.com. So if you want to reach out, uh, share a little bit about what you're doing with your business, um, film a member moment with her. She's going to be certainly taking on some of that as well. Uh, so just uh, look for Rebecca. We're really, really Happy excited to have her. Our team just keeps growing every year. 
um, and that's obviously a great um, attribute to having all of you members so supportive and, and watching us grow and uh, we're always aiming to make sure we're in front of issues, challenges, resources, everything that you need. So um, I'm going to now, you know, shift gears and talk a little bit about um, the Chamber Happenings this week. Before I do that, however, I'm going to bring Deanna Largent on. And Deanna, last week, spent some time. Why don't you tell us what you did last week? I did. It was absolutely an amazing week. I was a guest of Joseph Abbott's. He's a counselor for Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona. And exciting news for all of our members and all of your employees. We are partnering with Grand Canyon to help all of your employees further their education. So they're going to be offering uh, everyone that's going to participate in this wonderful the scholarships. So um, stay tuned. Joseph and I will be out there and Rebecca will be out there and supporting this effort to really raise the bar for all of your employees uh, to further their education on their own time. So you can take the courses that you want to uh, excel in, and get a degree in. You do it on your own time, your days. It's going to be online anytime that you need to take these classes. So some of the courses you can do business, tutorial uh, studies, education, engineering, technology, fabulous nursing and health uh, healthcare, psychology and counseling. So I was so impressed with um, the, this faith-based college, Grand Canyon University. So all you employers out there that really want to help your staff and your employees raise the bar on their own education, uh, please take advantage of the scholarship from basically the, your chamber and Grand Canyon University. So it's a beautiful, beautiful campus and clean and gorgeous and new and people that were so passionate about furthering education and stay tuned for some really more good news. Well, I'd say they're quite serious about um, the outreach to our community and really feeling they have something to offer. They would not have had you go out there, pay for your day yeah. and, and, and be there to, to really learn, after, you know, for two days what they're doing, what their assets are that we can bring to the community. So um, you'll be hearing a lot more about it. I'm sure Deanna will schedule a meeting with you right now one and more. But thank you, Deanna. You're welcome. I'm going to talk a little bit about just real quickly some of the chamber happenings this week. Tomorrow, uh, we have the Power of Pervasive Communication. It's our lunch and learn. I think we've got about 25 people signed up. Hey, we can accommodate probably another 10 more or a dozen more if you'd like. Um, but I love this. I love taking a topic. Um, you know, we try to rise to our goals, but often fall to our system. And I don't know how many of you view communication as part of your operating system um, for you, your business, and how you're conveying and doing things, how, how effective you're being. Um, are you, you know, efficient, results-driven communicator? Um, really, you'll learn uh, critical skills on just success factors um, for creating your conversation. So I'm anxious to, to teach that. Uh, that is tomorrow. We still have space tomorrow, uh, 12 to 1 30 be at Vineyard Park. You'll have lunch provided. Um, just go on to the Chamber website to register for that. New this year, and I'm glad Deanna is sitting here with me for this event. Yes, this is yes. the event Deanna has wanted for three years. Um, a little bit more of a male centric, I'll say. We do a lot of female centric with our Blue Scarf Society events and programming. Um, this is, this is going to be hitting on three marks. Um, a, you could see the Cigars Under the Stars, which is kind of a urban cigars event. Speakeasy style, rap pack music, kind of vibe, it'll be theme based. You can say um, that it's male targeted, so, so we'll check that box. We've got something that might be male targeted. Um, B, we love um, our peak partners. Our peak partners are ones that have been supporting us, um, with getting behind us with dollar contributions over $5,000. Um, we've got about 15 to 20 of you that, that are peak partners, and again, um, as a membership of Association, where only a third of our income is made off of membership dues, we rely on the support of those that are willing, able, capable um, to sponsor our events and our programs to lean into that. So this 
tonight to be able to recognize them. There will be a VIP component um, where they'll be getting VIP baskets, acknowledgements. I will be sending out calendar holds today, tomorrow to those peak parties to make sure that you know you're invited here as a special day to acknowledge um, all that you do and support you are to us. Um, again, Main Street Tattoo and uh, Elder Logistics have jumped on early to support this event. In fact, it will be at Main Street Tattoo in Sumner. So also, another third reason. We need some Sumner events. So here's the Sumner event video. And it will be in their very, very cool historical building. It's quick. We'll also be in Rhubarb Alley outside. The cigar component where we'll have cigar club members, uh, representatives there. If you are interested in furthering your education, about cigars. We're going to start Shiloh State Cellars there with wine. We'll have top brewing there for the beer. We'll also have Brown Winery there uh, pouring bourbon. So uh, we'll learn more about bourbon. They'll also be the white wine pour. So uh, great uh, collaboration. We have three entertainers that evening. So think about Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Ella Fitzgerald sort of style singing that night. Um, Scott Houston from Saltwater Sky um, there. We'll have also I Legends and Music, Clint and Isla. You haven't got to meet them yet, but you know, Clint has done some Elvis impersonating and some they're very talented performers. So it'll be exciting to have a trio throughout the night uh, singing in the vibe of the event. So that is August 11th. Mark your calendar. Register. We're keeping it smaller, so just 75 people. Um, and we'll sell out compared to I just the issues we've had so far. Cigars under the stars in summer, 530 to 9:30. Register right away. I also want to mention we're doing our tea time me time next week. This is typically a blue scarf exclusive event, but I did want to open it up to those ladies that might enjoy seeing what some of the events are that we do with the blue scarf. So if you're curious about this ladies leadership group, you may or may not have the prowess of uh, golf skills under your uh, we have uh, the fantastic uh, Griffin Golf that will be conducting that evening. A professional pro there that will be helping you with skills. You can also just opt to go and just be with us that night if you are are well dialed in in that department. So that is Thursday, July 27th, 4 to 7 at Allen Park. Contact Hannah at PuyallupChamber.com to learn more. Last, I'll mention hey, we've got our final uh, bird registration uh, that we're doing up through August 1st. Uh, that is our Vegas City tour. We are going to Boise, Idaho, Caldwell, Meridian. Uh, it's an economic development tour. It's an opportunity for you, the community, to be traveling with stakeholders here. So we will have economic development directors, some council members, our state representatives, county representatives, and again, other business leaders that take this tour. When we go into the city, they roll the red carpet. We're sitting at a five star hotel. They go, uh, great dinner. Great content. We plan panels throughout the three days we're together on different topics, um, on the business, on infrastructure. We're going to be visiting a new library, completely state of the art libraries. We know Sumner's a new library. Just a great way to sneak peek to things that have a, a little bit ahead of us on the curve for economic vibrancy, if you will. Um, but more important to me is just traveling with other 25 people uh, that become a very close part of us, rolling of resources, friends, if you will. Um, it's such a great and bonding part, of it. And, and I certainly enjoy getting to know all of you. So, the city tour coming up, a uh, bird special ending soon, and that is October 1st through the 4th is the trip. Again, Boise, well, and Meridian. Um, what else? Anything else? We've got a wine on Wednesday next week out at Windmill Extra. We'll have Wizzy as the performer. Be to come support. We also have Wake Up This Week, and that is at, where's Wake Up This Week? Uh, we're, we're, <laughs> I just got on vacation. Global Credit Union. Global Credit Union. That's right. Global Credit Union on River Road. It's going to be inside the beautiful toy store down there. So come out and see what the new changes are for people. So um, we'll see next Thursday. So this is the crowd. Yeah, and then uh, this week we're starting our candidate interview. So this is um, for the Puyallup. Uh, City of Santa doesn't have any proposed races, city council races. So 
we're targeting Gallup. Just some informal interviews to, to be able to learn a little bit more about the policies that are important to these candidates. Luke Coram joining me for filming starting this week. So by the next week, we should be able to push prior to the primary um, a little bit of information a link to each of those interviews. Um, so we're really excited to be able to share that to you. I think it's a great way, um, just reading a voter template to get to know the candidates and make good decisions about the important you play and our democracy, our rulemaking policies, and so, especially hopefully protecting business friendly policies. So, all right, that's it. Achiever check in looks great to see you. I um, should have had Hannah entering the comments there a little more because I see them coming. But I can't see from here. Um, so I apologize. We'll answer any questions you might have had, but we really appreciate you tuning in and thank you so much for your time in the chamber. Everybody.